afternoon everybody hope you guys are doing well i have some news for you about the music executive and founder of pina records rafi pina as you guys know a puerto rico judge sentenced me um sentenced him to 41 months which is three years and five months in prison and order him to pay a 150,000 sanction for his illegal possession of firearms conviction. Now, this is also for you guys to know, he was also indicted in August 2020, accused of possessing two handguns and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. He was forbidden to possess any firearms or ammunition due to a 2016 conviction on federal fraud and money laundering charges involving his label. Now, as you guys know, Rafi Pina, he is the fiance and manager of star singer Nati Natasha. It was nice to see Nati Natasha and Daddy Yankee, who's a good friend of his, and has a long history with Pina. They were there for him during his court session. When times get tough, you know who your real ones are. And I also have to mention that according to a court filing from April, federal prosecutors were demanding a tougher sentence of 46 to 50 months. But Rafi Pina's lawyers, they asked for an appropriate sentence. Three years is a long time if you think about it. What makes this so painful for Rafi Pina, for Nati Natasha and the family is that they have a one-year-old daughter who is still trying to learn how to walk. So the fact that you know, he's gonna be gone for three years, that must be killing him. And you just gotta be careful as when you're in, in the entertainment business or a public figure in general, you gotta be careful of, of what you do because in this country, people are gonna take a look at your past. No matter how much you've changed over the years, people are gonna look at your history and this country is is very harsh in giving people second chances i'm a firm believer that people deserve second chances and i do believe that people can change for the better but you just got to be careful you got to be careful of the mistakes you make because they can come back to haunt you and as we see this is happening to rafi pina If you watched Everybody Loves Nati documentary series on Amazon Prime, you start to not only become a fan, but appreciate the relationship that Nati Natasha and Rafi Pina have. It seems very genuine. It seems that they're truly in love. It, it, it seems that everything is clicking for them. Everything is going right. They have a tremendous support system. They feed off of each other. So I have no doubt that season two, Nati is going to unleash a lot of things that is going on. So it's tough. It's very tough. But um, hopefully that these three years goes by flying because again, when you have a new baby, it, I can't imagine just how crushing that mu must be for him because he's the one serving time. And for Nati as well, because you know, Nati is basically gonna be the single parent for now, but she has a strong support system in her family. So they're gonna be all right, but this is a 
an important lesson that you gotta be very careful who you associate with. Be very careful of the actions you take because sooner or later, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back to haunt you. We all have flaws, but some of us, we can go to extreme measures in breaking rules. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully that Rafi Pina comes back better than ever and continue to help artists put out great music and, you know, continue to take the company to the next level. I know that many artists in the past, like Don Omar, um, Zion, the list just goes on and on, have been critical of him. But at the same time, I gotta give the man um, his props because he's produced um, so many songs and he's been, he's well managed Daddy Yankee and I think Natasha's career. And I think Natasha is only getting started, so <sighs> I have a great feeling that in 10 years, we're gonna speak about her even at a much higher level. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.